Good morning and welcome to another episode of Adventure Unlimited. Coming to you this morning from Kosciuszko National Park. So we're currently at Pinch River Campground, about 10 k's roughly north of the Victorian border. And we're going to spend the next few days exploring around the Vic High Country. Yeah, we drove in last night on the awesome Barry Way. That was a um, surprise to me and it was a very good surprise. Yeah. Crazy road. Yeah, it's awesome. So we'll head down, keep heading down Barry Way to around Slug and Buggin, head across to McKillop's Bridge. And then uh, depending on what time we get there and how much exploring we do along the way, we might stay there or we might start uh, tracking west uh, because tomorrow we would like to do the Blue Rag Track. So yeah, this campground here, absolutely magic, right on the Snowy River. Uh, usual national parks um, campground, so drop loose, fire pits, not much else. Uh, but I think we're gonna go for a swim, have some breakfast, and then hit the road. Yeah, down and get on the tracks. Stay tuned, should be a good one. This is gonna suck. <laughs> it's gonna be so cold. Throw up, get a hot coffee, warm us up after. Get us going for the morning. Time to um, have some breakfast, pack up camp, and then do some exploring. Uh, gorge a little bit further up as well, that we'll probably stop and check out. Not sure if you'll be able to hear us over the waterfall, but it is very cool. Multi-tiered waterfall with a big drop off at the end. Pretty epic. It is. Well worth the short stop and walk in. I would say wear shoes, even if it's a nice day. It's foggy and slippery. So head back to the car and keep trekking towards the gorge. Next stop for the day, only about five minutes up the road, is Little River Gorge. I haven't learnt my lesson. I'm still wearing pluggers, so let's see how this track goes. It's another 400 metres down to the gorge. Decent sized little picnic area in the park up. A couple of tables and that, so good spot to even have lunch before you trek down or after you've done it. Well, this spot is insane. Really, really cool. Well worth the walk in. Walk's pretty easy. Pluggers appropriate. Walk back up's gonna be a bit harder. <laughs> it is downhill all the way down here. That's all right. We've been on the road for a while. A bit of exercise won't kill us. Just arrived at McKillop's Bridge Campground and it's gonna go for a stroll down the river. See how it looks. There's no one here. I thought um, I thought this one might get busy. Good it, campground. It's really nice. 
I'm tempted to stay here. The road in was another gnarly one. Super narrow, super windy. Lots super, of super cool. Super cool, like insane views. Thankfully, we didn't meet anyone coming the other way. Um, There's a long, long section there that you literally, if someone came the other way, you, you cannot pass each other. There's yeah. no room. There's a sheer cliff on one side and then sheer wall on the other side. So, anyway, we're almost down at the river. Eats bees. Many, many bees and the EpiPens are in the car. Plenty of flowers for them, but leave me alone. Good luck. <laughs> There's only a bloody beach down here. That's a lot of flow. No shortage of rain lately. Oh, this is going to be good. Stop it. This is epic. It's awesome. <laughs> you know, bridges up that way. Can't see it from here. Yeah, we cross it a bit further up. There's another campsite right next to the bridge as well. Um, uh, that's probably where it was taking me to. This one's nice though. Yeah. It's a bit of a walk to the beach. To, to the beach. <laughs> well, it's to the river of, beach. It's kind of a beach. But yeah, the campsite's nice. Yeah. I think uh, we might have some lunch. And then maybe go out and check out the bridge and the campground there. Maybe that's the one that gets busy. Mm. This is a good option or we drive out. I think it might be a good option to go to the next one and mm. well, there's two more along the river further up. Yeah. Check them out and maybe camp up early and have some, enjoy some relaxed time. Big fan. Won't be sad. <laughs> not with these views. Absolutely not. It's epic. Well, we have decided to pull up for the night. This spot here is called Old Joe Creek on Wikicamps, and it is absolutely spectacular. Cracking spot. Oh, yeah. Right next to the river. We might have to delay Blue Rag Track by one day. Yeah. So maybe a little bit far, but we'll see how we go. Joys of traveling, you sometimes you just gotta go with the flow and just chill out and enjoy what you got. This trip has been the epitome of winging it, so we'll just keep doing that. <laughs> Alright, done a set up. us all packed up for the morning. Very lazy morning uh, here, absolutely beautiful. It was pretty, pretty easy to have a slow morning. Sun's out, green grass, river's flowing, nice and warm. It's just beautiful, just enjoying it. Absolutely. Real quiet afternoon yesterday, just caught up on a little bit of editing. And now we're gonna start heading towards Blue Rag Track. So we'll be uh, going past Mount Hotham, uh, through Omeo and there's a bunch of lookouts and waterfalls and stuff along the way that keen to check out and uh, show to you as well. 
should be exciting. All right. Best thing is get, go back up that single lane, really steep, windy track. Should be good. <laughs> there hasn't been a lot of traffic, so hopefully it stays like that. Uh, but we're gonna hit the road. Just gone up past the town of Mount Hotham. Thought I'd pull over because the views are pretty epic. Insane. I have never seen anything like this in Australia. Yeah, it's a bit it's a bit overcast, so you can't actually 100% see as mm -hmm. far as you should be able to see, but it does look pretty cool. Yeah, even I don't know if it's rain or smoke or what, but it kind of makes the mountains look even more, more cool. Yeah, I think. So we're probably only got about another half hour, 40 minutes until we pull up at camp. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we're just gonna take a minute to take in this scenery. Just enjoy it. Yep. While we're here. So we've just gotten to the start of the blue rag track. Uh, just airing down um, camp tonight is just along the track a little bit. So it's gonna be exciting. Excited. I am. feel like we're on top of the world. We have arrived at uh, it's on wiki camps as Annie's full drive only camp, I think. And uh, yeah, no one here, small area, but absolutely sick. And you can see where we'll be going tomorrow. There. So yeah, some cool driving today. Really cool start to the track and the rest of it looks epic. Straight into it, off the road, straight up. Straight into low range. Nothing lowly, but nah. just go straight up. It's good. Yeah. So up some contour banks. Yeah, nothing too hectic. I think tomorrow will be much the same, but um, yeah, just a long day of slow driving in low range. Got a difficult level as difficult on Hema. Uh, I think in the dry it would be fine. I think in the wet it might get a little bit slippery and off camber. Yeah, for sure. No, I don't think it'll be too crazy. But uh, we're gonna settle in. We're gonna put the drone up because it looks absolutely epic up here. And um, yeah, we'll uh, catch you in the morning for Blue Rag Track. Can't wait. Join camp at the moment. Got some crazy clouds kicking off in the background. Got the fire going. So, cooking up some garlic bread.
good, so I like the rest. Okay. Oi, 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 and drop it. So this cloud behind us is getting bigger and bigger. And I've never, never experienced it in my life, but we saw lightning in blue sky. Yep. No we, shit. We both saw it, and if both of us didn't see it, I don't think the other one would have believed us. So there's a lightning bolt, and it was completely in blue sky. It started it was, in the cloud. But yeah. It was it's, mostly in blue sky. <laughs> and <laughs> the thunder and stuff behind us is pretty exciting. So we're hoping it. It's meant to pass, pass out, clear. Pass us, but this it's kind of coming towards us. It's gotten big. So much bigger than it was before. <laughs> it's got brighter at the top and bigger at the top and darker at the bottom. Oh. It's a big cloud. Of everything going on this evening. We gotta crack a sunset. We got blue skies. Oh, blue sky lightning! Blue sky lightning! Blue sky lightning! Also, two more since the last video. I didn't see either of them. Blue sky lightning. Sounds exciting. It was. It was like a. It was like a big. Like a back to front sea. Yeah. Is that like you then? That was mm -hmm. just, that was boring sheet lightning. And then we've got this massive storm here. We've got a nice little fire. <laughs> keep, us, keep us warm. Well, yeah, got a bit of everything. The sunset's cracking, so we want to watch that. But then also this storm's <laughs> cracking, so we want to watch that. But then, and then also. The mountains on the other side are cracking. The blue skies with the mountain views is cracking, so we're kind of spot here we're just doing circles just <laughs> oh, I had to keep so watching because I kept missing the blue sky lightning because I was getting distracted by other stuff yeah. and then I saw it I think it's getting closer we might have an exciting night I don't know these, and it just keeps like these clouds are forming so fast you can watch them like with your own eyes just blow up like one of the most memorable things I've seen ever. It's definitely getting us charged up. I don't know. What do you what happens to you when thunderstorms happen? I don't know, whenever I get thunderstorms come I just get a hypo and I turn to a little kid. I only do too but normally when there's thunderstorms there's not like an epic sunset and massive mountain ranges and like a whole bunch of other stuff. Sunset is cool going on at the same time <laughs> and a, a random cloud in the distance that looks like a volcano. Yeah. There's like a little volcano popping off up there.
Well, good morning from the start of the blue rag track. We're all packed up and gonna get straight into it. Hey, didn't muck around this morning, made up, got up, made a coffee, had some breakfast, gonna hit the track. Get on the nice and early. Yeah, no one's gone past yet, so hopefully it's nice and quiet. Should be a exciting day of four driving. Looking forward to it. Yo. Enjoy it this morning. Straight from camp, straight to a little drop off. It's cool. Good guy. Do it. So that's the first little part of the track done. I don't, really, I don't really know how much longer it goes for, but. That was exciting. It was definitely the longest, steepest track I've ever driven up. <laughs> but pretty easy. Yeah. I was first gear, rear diff locks in, just crawl it up. Yeah, second gear, that last little pinch was a bit second, but <laughs> I had to give it a bit of a push. You were good. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. We've got more people coming. Another good thing about just crawling up these hills in first, they're just steep and you don't really need to pick any lines, you can just enjoy the view. Don't have many stickers left. Worthy, worthy cause. Yeah, I'll climb up there with it and put it on. <laughs> Nicely done. So cool. That last climb was super sketchy. Like the most, the steepest, the closest to vertical I think I've ever done. <laughs> and I probably came in a little bit close to Paul. So good. There's no problems going behind the Land Cruiser, it'll never stop. I try to take a slightly wider line than you in case you just drop back. <laughs> so we did end up spending an extra couple of days in the high country and uh, hopefully you can see from the footage why we decided to do that. 
as a result, we're going to give the Grampians a miss and the next time we see you will be in the Flinders Rangers in a day or two. Looking forward to that. Yeah. It's been on the list for a while. Oh yeah, ages. So if you like the video, don't forget to hit the like button and if you want to follow more of us, then hit subscribe. <laughs>